Charles. It's fish day today. There's no Ben. Give it another try. Alright, let's give it a go. No, that's hot sauce, Charles. We're looking for fish. Okay, okay, let's go again. A good one! <laughs> no, Charles, fish! She knows the plants! <laughs> oh, Sally! Oh, Sally, I'm glad you're here. We'll be helping with these fish. Sure! <laughs> It's uh, a big order, Charles. It's understandable. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow, that's a huge order. Oh, yeah. Yep. Steady. Pack number one. Oh yeah. Oh, there's more. Don't worry. <laughs> but wait, there's more. This has to be one of our bigger orders. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This was a fun list. There we list. go. Lots of stuff hey, on Sally, here we have Hey Sally, thanks for your help. I suggest taking the stairs next time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little jarring. All right. I feel like I'm in a <laughs> fort. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we just need some blankets and some coloring books. Mmm, cozy. <laughs> All right. Let's take a peek at this paper. We might have gone a little overboard on this one. But yeah. I'm glad you did because... I vastly underestimated how much room I had. <laughs> <laughs> so much of this is customer orders, though. Well, we've got some great things for some people. Mm -hmm. Pexazona barbs. Uh, definitely. Uh, excellent. Favorite. <laughs> yep. Beautiful reds. I like it. Blue velvet shrimp. Ooh. Ooh. Those are really bright blue. The color is great. Yeah. Very I cool. Snag a couple of those for the colony. <laughs> Some Bloody Marys. Nice. We were very low on shrimp. Yeah, good deep red color. Gorgeous. I have a feeling I know who these are for. These are Ember Tetra. Cool. <laughs> That's a Tetra I can't get enough of. Yeah. They're just so cool. One of the smaller ones, still really gorgeous color though. Yeah. A red turquoise discus. Nice. Very good. The discus have been coming in amazingly. Yeah. <laughs> we have a second one. Sweet. Excellent. Wow, those are beautiful. Yes, they are. Oh, green neons. Nice. These are going into a biotope. Our <laughs> biotope expert has been eagerly awaiting these guys. They're tiny. They're so, so cute. cute. <laughs> <laughs> they are definitely the smallest of that genus. Yeah, and came in extra tiny. Yep. Haleanus cory Great stick cory. Cory just, yep, perfect stool. And they do get really cool iridescence to them. Yeah. Just because they're a more common Cory doesn't mean they're any less pretty than any of the others. Yeah, I agree. Now, since I saw a bag of one fish in this genus, I did not expect you to pick both. I see we have Rombo Bar. <laughs> uh huh. Those came in Rombos pretty are much mature size, too. I think Snakeskin Barb is the other name, right? We've yeah. told them as that before. Another red turquoise. Cool. I think somebody was looking for a trio, so nice. I don't think they'll be disappointed. This one's going to color up really mm -hmm. nice. Uh, it says het res for us? Oh. oh <laughs> that means harlequin res for oh, It's this. heteromorpha, I think. Got These it. are huge. Wow. Holy cow. Those are really amazing. Nice. That's, that's kind of what threw me off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are a couple other res bores in that genus, but red, the like heteromorphas and the espays are the two that we normally deal with. The halicon is kind of the classic, everybody sees that one in the hobby. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that fish. We kind of like the oddballs around here a little bit, which is why we get the hang of the SP a little more often. Well, and they are different in color a little bit, although yeah. that group of harlequins has that crazy orange fin on it that I haven't seen in that group in a long time. They are going to color up really nice. And I think it's really just the maturity. Mm -hmm. We don't get them that big that often. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it away. That's right. Get that. Put the thing back where it came from. So help. <laughs> Come on, Charles, hurry up! I know. So you get to play this game I this know, time. Right? It's a little different so dynamic much here. Pressure. <laughs> hey, what's next? Uh, fish. I'm hoping. I don't know. There's some shrimp I'm waiting on <laughs> too. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. That is clearly a Malawi cichlid. That is Alanacara species Flavasat. Gotcha. That's you get so Lucicia is another name for it. This is a big, beautiful male. Yeah. 
Gorgeous. Show Sammy. Oh! Another Alana Cara. Wow, the fins! They're so bright! Yeah. Even in the bag, I, I can't wait to see what that's going to look like. This is a lemon jake, a Alana Cara anomaly. Wow. Mama, something like that. But Mama Layla, I think. Mama Layla. Yeah. yeah. Which I believe is a collection of pictures. Okay. <laughs> I've only seen juveniles of those, and okay, now I get why people want them. <laughs> right. All right, prepare for the blue on this guy. Nice. Look at his face. Wow. And this is the, that color after they've been in a bag for 24 hours. Yep, yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah. This is Alatakara Hans Banshai. Banshai. Red shoulder. Cool. Red shoulder peacock. Gorgeous. Making sure. All right. Cory Katz Hestetis. Mm. Cory Dora Hestetis. This is a, one of the dwarf Corys. Yes. Yeah. One that I think I see people talk about the least. I think people know Habrosis, but this is really similar. Just it's got that little patch of black on its yeah. tail. They're really cool. They tend to school Look less on the bottom than other Cory Katz. The ones I've seen, they tend to kind of like behave a little bit more tetrid. Yeah. Cool but still have that distinct Cory Cat shape that Big Bayus doesn't really have. I know it's Cory Cat. Similar. Nice. This Which is, is similar to a Brosis, I believe. Yep. Okay, this is another smaller Cory, and yeah. they have that polka dot ombre pattern. <laughs> another another synonym for with this is uh, violetta, because yeah. they get almost a violet glow to it. Yeah, you recently introduced me to this one, and I think it's really jumped up my ranks You're not on Cory Cat. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wild pygmy cory cats. Nice. Jeez. They came in pretty good size. Pygmaeus. Yeah, and a huge group of them. There should be 50 in here, and I think that's the way that these show the best. Yeah. They school and swim around and take up almost a lower mid instead of just a lower section. Yeah, of the mid. it's amazing to see. And we got red crystal shrimps. Cool. Excellent. Great group. Definitely needed more of those. Yep. Something we are always in need of. More bettas. Yay! <laughs> Woo. These are very Veil tails. Yeah. But more of like a delta veil tail. Look how cool they are. Ooh, look at the. It's like the cotton colors candy colors. Hmm. Gorgeous. They all have really different blues. Mm -hmm. There's like a powder blue, a royal blue, and a beautiful rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> and a blue blue. Blue, blue, blue. All right. More Box fish. number two. Ugh. Come on, Charles, hurry up. I uh, know, now you <laughs> now I know how you feel when I'm doing this to you. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> Alright. Does feel a little weird standing this side. Is this the best side? <laughs> Vote in the Whoa. comments below. <laughs> paradise fish. Oh. They're excitable. <laughs> I think those are angry paradise fish. Is that a thing? I'm pretty sure they all have a little bit of angriness. <laughs> but generally only with other things like garamis. And like for how hardy they are, you get so much color. You don't need sensitive fish to have a colorful tank. It's classic and a band toy angst. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That'd be a good band name. <laughs> to... Strawberry oh, liquor strap. Nice. These are the Nation? Mm -hmm. Charles just recently did a presentation on liquor strawberries for the Grand Valley Aquarium Club. I believe it is still available on Facebook Live to watch. Yeah. It is very cool. Yeah, just scroll back on our Facebook page. These came in a nice size. Yeah, I will definitely be, uh, you know, claiming a few for myself. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably my favorite if liquor strawberry that I've interacted with personally. Yeah, very cool. It says blue. Blue Melazona. Melazona. Um, this is one of the nano live bearers, similar to a guppy, a little bit smaller oh, yeah. actually. This is in the pictogroup, right? Uh, it is, yeah, Microposilla Pocilia pere. Pere. Yes. Right. Uh, but they're similar to picta. Yep. Cool. Mm. Good snack. Yeah, I think it'll be cool to see how that blue color develops. Hard to find wild type live bearers, I think. What do we got? <laughs> yes. Cannot go wrong with a mono shrimp. Every planet tank should have a mono shrimp. They're chunky and they're so helpful. Yes. Great this, batch. I'm gonna say I know exactly who put this on the list. Oh. <laughs> and look I at that. I couldn't resist. They said, "Hey, we have room in the box." Okay, but look at that. Whoa. <laughs> Those uh, might be the biggest ones I've ever seen. Fantastic. These are clown killies. Did we even say we that, or did we just get so distracted? We did not. Yeah. Yeah. What a group. 
I know I say it every time we get them in. This is my favorite fish. <laughs> really hard to argue against that. Spotted hill stream lunches. Excellent. And a decent sized group. Yeah. Good. Another new species for the store. Cool. Um, I think this is Sowellia 01. Like, that's the code for it. But cool pattern. As in it's undescribed? Uh, it, this one is described, but it was originally either 1 or 11. I just can't remember the actual oh. uh, actual species name. I can only remember the number. We got chili reservoirs. Nice. Good, good. That is a store staple and for good reason. Mm -hmm. Nice little group. Beautiful. Excellent nano fish. Maybe the best schooling nano fish. Can I use the word best? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Only if somebody doesn't call you on it. Oh, uh, this so is a gold I, nugget platter. Uh, we got two of them. Two of them. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, let's get the L18 is the L number on these guys. Wish I knew how to sex them. Yeah, <laughs> I hope they're a pair for somebody. They're probably a little too small to sex. Those are absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous little plugs. Okay. Next, next, next. No pressure, Charles. I'm just kidding. There is pressure. Yeah. What? Ooh. <laughs> It's okay, it's his first time. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what you guys think of the job Charles is doing. <laughs> be nice. Don't be nice. I'm picturing the comment section being like, why are you guys so mean? <laughs> you film plant videos without them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, I'm just going to pass these off to you because I don't even know what to say about them. I've never this heard of this This is Paratropolis Merum. Mera Rombo. This is an extremely rare endangered cichlid from Madagascar. Oh, cool. Yeah. There are six. Yeah. Is this the one that you showed me the pic that had like the really six, weird body shape? Right. Five or six species, very endemic to like to Madagascar. Um, and this is one of them. And a larger one? These How guys will get it? about five, six inches. Okay. Well, well that's manageable inches. at least. Right. <laughs> a couple of the Polonai, I believe the Polonai. Um, that'll get up to about eight inches. Okay. okay. Cool. Really, really pretty fish. Yeah, something I have no, I know nothing about. I cannot even read that. I have gold okay. Thor or something? Gold, oh, this, that's there, These arias. Yes. Okay. So that's another cichlid, isn't it? This is part of the Firemouth Miki complex. Okay. But they are smaller and allegedly they're plant friendly. They are a sand I'm already seeing this really pretty iridescent blue speckling all over on them. This is really interesting fish. Yeah. Arum is gold, so it's got a yellowy gold color to it. Cool. Yeah, beautiful little fish. Okay, blue a car. I know. Hey, what you that got is. that one. <laughs> Good size. Not the electric blue acara. This is just the actual blue acara. The wild type, and it is an absolutely beautiful, medium size, relatively peaceful South American. Yep, yeah, they are really cool. I think this was an order for one of our new employees, actually. Nice. That's always exciting. Yep. Another oh, favorite. good. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to sneak these over here. Uh -huh. We finally got some more Kubo Thai Rasboras, and it looks like we got as many as we ordered this time. So Good deal. Yeah. So this fish, just to remind everybody, it's the one we're trying to populate one of our displays with. And they're so gorgeous that every time we populate the display, can I buy those? We're failing yes, in yes, the best yes. way at yeah, filling the, the display way. with those. Nanakara, so these are going to be the, I don't know. The Nanakara anomaly. Yeah. yeah, so Which the is a small... golden dwarf cichlid is the common name you'll see them under. Um, so like we just saw the Akara, these are the Nanakara, the right. mini one. Yes, great, easy South American dwarf cichlid. And it's one of the smallest dwarf cichlids I know of. Smaller than a pistol? I think Coastal Pistos can still get three and a half inches. These guys pretty much top out at two, maybe two and a half. Very okay. cool little fish. Yeah. I like it. Speaking Whoa. of Pistos. Okay, super red, I'm assuming. That yes. male. Look oh my goodness. Flash. You probably can see these even without us zooming in how brightly colored those tails are. Wow. Nice and mature. Gorgeous. Those are unreal. We've never yeah. gotten them in looking that good before. Usually they take a little love first because they're juvenile. Yeah, yeah. Lime green and lyrics. Oh, cool. Neat. There should be pairs in some here. some of the color variations of some of the enders. And that is a lime green. That's a yeah. my glass. We've talked about this with the cubotas, oh, but sure. that's a tough oh, wow. color to get. 
That's got some cool marks yeah, on it. Lime too. green with a little orange tail. Yeah. Mm, I like nice. those. Good pick, Charles. I think that was yours. Yeah, that was mine. <laughs> <laughs> Another Episto, Borrelli Eye. Blue. Oh, I love Episto's. Yeah. It's a tough fish to beat for what, like, what niche it fills in the requirement. Mm -hmm. It's just to, I think it's a great accent for any 20 gallon and larger plant aquarium. Yeah. You could do a pair of Episto's. Yeah. yeah, I think the four cichlids should be a staple in a planet aquarium, particularly those. <laughs> Another episto. This Ooh. was my recommendation. This is the uh, Rio Mahuma. Look at the dorsal nice. fin. Oh, look at the red in the tail. Wow. That's that's amazing. Yeah. I don't even have anything gorgeous. to say about it. <laughs> nope, gorgeous and different. Yeah. The diversity of that genus is amazing. Another licorice farm, this time the Phoenix licorice farm. Phoenix. Whoa. So, Vinicurus is the species name. Very pretty. Now, if I remember cool. from your talk, this was supposed to be one of the easier licorice yeah, farms, like, right? I would say like moderate. Okay, yeah. that's relative. <laughs> right. Yeah, Four when it comes to farms. easy licorice garages. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's one of them. Yep. All right. I think we need to have like an intermission here for a minute or something. Do, 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 Maybe do. just give Charles time to open it. Yeah. <laughs> Smash cuts to like B roll of one of our tanks and like some soft like, or something. <laughs> I'll have to play it in slow mo or something just to make you look even worse. We say it, this one just went. <laughs> <laughs> That was pretty cool. I don't oh, think I can ever do that again. <laughs> Careful, you're going to take out the studio audience. <laughs> More Amanos. Yes. Excellent. Never enough. Never enough. Never agree. I know who this is for. Ooh, wow. <laughs> what is it? That's Ooh, Nanochromus perilous. Another big one. Yeah, nice. Nanochromus don't usually come in big enough to need to be individually bagged. Yeah. So this is like, really exciting. More. There should be <laughs> six. Oh, very cool. Wow. This is one of the West African dwarf cichlids. I will always have a spot, soft spot for the West Africans. I don't. I do not disagree with that at all. Mm. <laughs> wow. And I would say no, they can right. take the place of apistos in climbing frames. Might need to go a little bit bigger. Yeah. Maybe a twenty long or a twenty nine. Well, their body shape is so much more elongate. I don't. Their mouths are the same size, but they yeah. are just bigger. A little greater risk to shrimp. Yeah. But otherwise, they're fantastic. So, Although cichlids with shrimp, they're gonna get they're gonna, they, they just die. Uh, you have a unforgivable loach here. <laughs> <laughs> the Cruciatus loach, <laughs> which are the multi-stripe loaches. Oh, yeah. 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 These are uh, another one of the dwarf schooling loaches. They're an egg scatterer. We haven't tried it yet, but allegedly they're about as easy to breed as most of the egg scattering countries. Yeah, I'm actually looking at me. <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> well, I remember those guys were one of your underrated fish on that video and podcast yeah. we did. So yeah. cool. I think you're definitely right. We got the Sinolibas. Sinolibias Estancia. Yep. Ooh, those are cooler than I thought yeah. they were going to be. One of the dirt spawning South American cichlids. Uh, killifish. Thank you. Dirt spawning <laughs> South American killifish. An annual. They're polka dot. Yeah. Whoa. Coolie loaches. <laughs> all right. Swarm them. <laughs> I love the way they look at a bag like that with them all just riding all over each other. I believe uh, I believe a group of coolie loaches, the technical term is a bowl of spaghetti. Oh. <laughs> That's good. That checked like out. <laughs> Certainly can't say you're wrong. Feta and Bellas. Excellent. Pretty. One of the wild type fetas in the Splendence complex. And they yeah. came in just as great as the last yep. batch. It's probably the most accessible wild feta to get into, I would say. Probably. Price-wise and care-wise. I think care-wise around here, like Mahagiantis might be easier to work right. with, but like price-wise, you can't beat it though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it says... Near dwarf packs. rainbows. <laughs> Prey packs. A lot of tiny Prey packs. Good um, group of dwarf rainbows. These look like the bigger rainbows, but they just don't get as big. Yeah. I'm, so I think a lot of people would like to get into rainbows if they had the tank space. That's the one to do. This is the one to do. It's also super easy to breed. Put a group of them in the tank with a bunch of plants or something, and then take the group out and wait. And in about four or five days, babies will show up. Yeah, it's happened here accidentally yep. before. <laughs> That's <ridiculous>. One more <laughs> box. The last one. Good. 
excellent. And they did 12 and 13. That's okay. the two that I swear. A film in Tosa, Achilles. Kitty. Yeah. yeah, so this is Fundalo Panchex film in Tosa. So St. Jesus as Gardner. Oh, wow. Um, about as easy to care for, a little more into reading them. They are a dirt funny annual Fundalo Panchex, but they only have about a three or four week incubation time in the, in the, in the dirt. Wow, so that would be a great so, small project to do yes. if you don't have to wait like a year to get them. <laughs> and Charles will do, uh, Charles will take these things downstairs and show us exactly what it takes to do. Yeah. Why not? They're, That's they're, so they're, interesting. They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous killers. In the bag already, from yep. like here, I can make it up for the color. And distinctly different than Gardner Eye, the coloration, the patterning. Yep. But you can still tell that they're close. Yep. That's awesome. This was one of the last minute add ons, I just couldn't help. Yeah. <laughs> I, I completely skated over those on the list, so I'm glad we got to see them. Yep. Another Alana Cara. There we go. This is bicolor, and yep, blue and yellow. Yep. I think those are the two. Sometimes called the bicolor 500. <laughs> <laughs> The green neon trip. Ooh. Cool. I was like, I know someone wanted those Yeah, I'm that. kind of excited to see how these turn out. I think I, they'll be green. I think that they will be. They're not yet, though. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a note, though, but I can't read what it is on the back. Treasy eye. Treasy eye. Yeah. Red tail, blue fins. Yep. I didn't even look at look up the picture of this one. I just thought, no those big fins. I want them. Look at yeah. those fins. What, how could you go wrong with a note the brackets? Yes. Alright, All right. so we got more fancy beds. More bed of piles. Piles. Another, A red, another ooh, turquoise color. That's a good red. Yeah. Let me see that red one. Yeah. Oh, I know you like the red. Ooh, that was kind of a weird yellowy oh, color. Wow. That'll be yeah. an interesting one that to see. That color up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, like this is, see the red where the red on the face is really solid? Mm -hmm. That's what I like. Yeah. Yep. Gorgeous. Even that will brighten up a little bit too. That's so cool. More Japan Blue Lyra Tail Gummies. All right. A little bit bigger. Yeah, they look good. That's a fun powder blue pairs. color. Yeah, I love that color. Is that last in? Nope, we got a couple no, more. No, we still here. have a couple we more guys. We got white clouds. Come on. Yeah. Nice. This is something I specifically requested for the breeder lab. Yeah. So. Where, these are just a more rare species of white cloud, right? Same yeah, genus. Same, same species. species. Different species. Yep. Same similar coloration. I've only seen similar these ones, different. but I don't remember. They yeah, once yellow. They, yeah, once they color up, you'll be like, that's distinct. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then another wild betta, but a pub <gasps> Nice. Mouth fruiters. Yeah. Oh, one of the big. Best beginner mouth fruiters. Okay, so Very cool. a little easier to breed. How will they be breeding in this water? Do they want soft? No. They're not going to care? No. All right. They just want clean water. Yep. Good breeder project. Yep. Cool. You know we love our wild type vets here. Mm -hmm. Can't get enough of them. Yeah. And uh, we have some newspaper. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what an amazing batch of Fantastic fish. Fantastic group of fish. I'm really excited about these. Well, give us a couple of weeks on these fish. We'll get them through the quarantine process. If there's something you're interested in, you saw something you like, give us a call. We'll put it on hold for you. We can let you know when it's ready. If there's something you want us to unbox next time. <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing that today. Um, just let us know. You can reach out on Facebook. You can reach out on social media. You can even you could probably send us a message on YouTube. I don't know if you can do that or not. But uh, just get in touch. Tell us what you like. Have lots of fun and keep those hands wet. <laughs>